In this very special video, we're teaming up with our friends at Top Tens, who also make lists like the one you're now watching. In this collaboration, we've created a list of the Top Ten Strangest Tanks Ever Designed. We've got five of them here, and then at the end, there'll be an annotation linking to Top Ten's channel for the rest. And while you're there, check out their other videos and subscribe. Number 10. The Armored Quadricycle Aside from being the first thing you'd think of if you were ever asked what a tank designed by the British would look like, this 1899 vehicle is one of the first tanks ever created. Okay, so the armor only protects the torso of the driver. Also, we can't imagine this would get very far over hilly terrain, and as a result, this was never mass-produced. Number 9. The 1K17 Sahadi Don't let the massively boring name confuse you. The 1K17 Sahadi was a fully operational laser fire and tank. Sure. It didn't fire planet-destroying lasers like those on the Death Star, but they were equally important. The lasers it fired were designed to permanently disable the targeting systems of enemy missiles, vehicles, or aircraft. In other words, if war broke out and the enemies of the USSR were not able to use any of the machines we just mentioned. However, just in case enemy forces got too close to it, it was also equipped with an anti-aircraft gun on its roof. You can never be too careful. Number 8. The Tortuga Tank the Tortuga tank was designed in 1934 and, like the armored quadricycle, was armed only with a machine gun. It was intended to scare the neighboring country of Colombia into not invading, but it's hard to see why this would have worked. For one, Tortuga is a translation of the word turtle, an animal not often associated with violence. Secondly, and we can't state this enough, they look like a British policeman's helmet, which doesn't say much for the guy who designed the helmet. Number 7. The Krupp Kugelpanzer also known as the Ball Tank, this specimen was captured by the Russians in 1945 in Manchuria. No other examples of this tank are known to have been produced, and next to nothing is known about it. The tank was powered by a tiny two-stroke engine, and its weaponry relied on whatever machine gun the driver had on hand at the time. As you can tell, there was only room for one person in this, so if you ever got stuck fighting in one, bring some CDs to keep you company. Number 6. The Bob Semple Tank during World War II, New Zealand saw that every other country had some tanks and decided to make some themselves. However, without the industrial capacity to make such a tank, they settled on building a shed of corrugated iron on Tractor's base. Named after their Minister of Works, Bob Semple, each tank was equipped with seven machine guns. However, the cramped conditions inside meant that one crew member had to shoot on his hole whilst laying on a mattress covering the engine. After the tanks were ridiculed for their appearance, they never saw combat although they did boost public morale all across New Zealand. If you want to see the rest of this list, just click anywhere on the screen or click the link in the description.